Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. So today I got a really interesting package. I I mean, I was messaged via email weeks ago about this box and I forgot. And so my dad and I were just standing outside looking at it. I'm like, what did I get with my name on it? And the name that it was sent from was weird, but ended up being something really cool. So I'm excited. So yes, of course, it ended up being a package from Monster High and Mattel. Um, it, I mean, this whole thing was really cool. It was totally unexpected. It was actually kind of heavy too, but yeah, let's get into it. Clap, clap. We are rolling. Okay, so as usual, I have no earthly idea what this is. They never really mention it in the emails what exactly we can expect to arrive. So it's always a little bit of a surprise, but that's kind of the fun aspect of it. So I really appreciate that. And again, as always, thank you. Thank you, Mattel and Monster High for sending her to me or sending this to me. I don't know what it is or who it is. Let's find out. I'm excited. Uh, this is a huge box. It's eight pounds. Yeah, because this is like the biggest box I think I've ever gotten. It might not even be Monster High. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, I think, wait a minute. What? Oh my gosh. Huh? MGM. Oh, no way. Huh? What? Okay, uh, I'm not totally sure what that means. I don't recognize this logo from anywhere, but I recognize that one. <laughs> Nothing on the back. This is so like cryptic and let us see. Let's find out. Oh, no, they did not. Oh, wow. You know what? This is crazy whoa off the <gasps> i am about to cry <laughs> oh my goodness wow misery called and it said goth is the new glam the highly anticipated collaboration is here and it's downright morbid monster high joins forces with everyone's favorite mac i don't know how to pronounce that guys wednesday replay the most macabre scenes from the mgm television series wednesday on netflix with this chilling collection wednesday adams wow people kept asking me about these dolls all week but i was like i don't really i mean i've never watched the show i don't know who the characters are i know that this is like jenna ortega but that's all i know <laughs> but i know for a fact that that's the that's an outfit from the show so go ahead look closer mystery and mayhem await within wow the Wednesday Paint It Black Fashion Pack is available exclusively on Mattel Creations. Okay, what's this? <gasps> I was like, I don't recognize that logo, but I guess now I know. Does she come with that backpack? Oh, she does! What about her backpack? Oh, <gasps> yes. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, this is just, I, I mean, I'm speechless, honestly. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, wait, there's stuff in here. Okay, okay. I'm going to relocate everything because I want to get, I want you guys a better view of this stuff. This is totally unexpected. Um, but I'm going to make it a little more professional. <laughs> so let me do that. I am just like a com in complete shock about all of this. I didn't expect them. And like I said, people have been asking me if I was going to buy them. And I was like, I, I can't afford them right now, unfortunately. But I'm like, I'm so thankful. And I always say, I don't feel deserving of this whole thing. And especially the experience with opening the box and everything. This is like hands down, no pun intended. <laughs> um, it's hands down, like one of the best PR boxes that I've ever received. And you guys know, like I love the gothic aesthetic of dolls. I love, you know, the darker features, the darker clothes. Like I like gothicness if i was able to purchase any of the dolls it was going to be this one because i like the long hair and her face is so cute but like oh my gosh the presentation is insane i want to open this up first because this is a fashion pack i didn't know anything about that i mean honestly i didn't know anything about any of these to be honest with you oh by the way i put some rings on to kind of match the occasion and i got my silver mirror but yeah, it says paint it black. I just, like, I love black, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I want you guys to see, and I'm gonna open all of them up because I know a lot of you guys don't like to open your dolls, but I don't mind. <laughs> I like opening my dolls. Is there an actual violin in this freaking box? Oh, there's secrets. 
zoom on in. Wow. Okay, so there's like an entire second outfit. Again, I'm not sure which doll it goes to, but I love this dress. Look how cute it is. It's going to be skin tight, which I really like. I like when they like have fitted clothing. It's really soft to the touch, so I'm happy about that. And I'm happy that they managed to keep it wrinkle free especially in the collar area again i've never watched the show never seen any like never seen any clips with her wearing this so this is all new to me and i guess that makes it a little more special and here are the socks they have like this little dripping pattern here again never seen that before the shoes are really cool because they have they carry over the same aesthetic um they're all plastic there's no real laces but i love a good like platform kind of shoe and then here's the jacket. Is there anything on the back? There's nothing on the back of the jacket, but I do like that there's like a little sparkly silverish for the zipper. And oh, look, it's the Monster High logo. Is that like a Venus flytrap? It looks like it may be a Venus, Venus flytrap. It's really cool. It's really high quality. Uh, honestly, it's on par with another brand. <laughs> so that's good. I always, you know, I'm excited to, to see that. Um, and it also has like a full hoodie. There's no holes in the back, so you can put it over the doll. I'm so excited. I, I might need to watch the show now because I need to get acclimated with all this stuff. Here's the violin, or uh, I don't know, is it a cello? It's huge, though, and there's like a little spider. Look at this detail with the Monster High logos. How cute is that? Okay, and it also comes with like a little string. So cool, I love it. I'm so thankful for all of this. And I love like black things. I need to get more black dolls. I'm not gonna do like a full restyle. I think that's doing a little bit much. Although I do really like the way these bangs look. Dang, I wish I had this doll. <laughs> this one specifically. Oh, she has freckles. And okay, so yeah. Oh, look at she is in the picture. Okay, so before we look at these glorious dolls, I quickly want to go over their boxes because I feel like they're so beautifully designed, especially this one with like the chrome. I might actually put her back in the box, so I was really careful and gentle the way that I took her out of the box. Um, so here's like flowers, and I think those are like crows. Very beautiful. Okay, so Raven Wednesday's box. Um, first of all, this picture is just glorious. I mean, it's stunning. And I actually want to see if I can possibly get her hair that way uh, yeah that's that's really beautiful the private thoughts of wednesday adams oh there's two d's in adams i never knew that keep out or risk dismemberment Ooh. okay so thing is thing is that the hand and the room was filled with screams wait this is giving like carrie so i did i know exactly what scene she's talking about but that's all i've seen of the movie or the show or whatever you look how beautiful this box is so it's a, like a lot of Monster High things. Yeah, I, I gotta keep these boxes. Look at Draculaura down here. I want that doll. And I want this doll too of Claudine. Why is she light skin in there? <laughs> Look at the floor. Very colorful and beautiful. I mean, just beautifully and elegantly designed, seriously. And Ned's last name is Sinclair. Oh, I like that. I like dark and gloomy like the way everything is worded but the dolls look beautiful <laughs> they're not like exponentially detailed and surprisingly nid is the most detailed of all of them and uh i actually like her more than i thought i would but like i said i i, I love how they feel like they're from the same universe and oh my gosh i love this one so I, I might have to take her hair out honestly they're so beautiful oh my gosh okay guys so we're finally going to start the review and i'm going to start with my favorite one actually i don't know it's pretty close between her and anid uh if anid had like longer hair oh she would have been <laughs> even better but yeah so here we have jana ortega and first of all here's her bag and let me see if you can okay oh you can open it i love it so you could like put the hand in here if you want i don't know like the story on the show but I don't know if the hand ever goes in the bag, but it can definitely go in this bag. 
and it has like the monster high emblem and everything like that it's very simple oh you can also remove the straps as well and here's the doll herself as you can see her face is stunning she has some freckles i love that her lipstick is not black like hers because it gives a little bit of variety and it's like a dark brown slash maroon color and her eyes are really gorgeous you see like they have like the i'm gonna get a close-up in a minute she doesn't have any ear piercings but she does have an ear piercing like mold it looks like she's supposed to have earrings let's look at her brows i love looking at a doll eye okay her eyebrows don't really speak to me that much it makes her look a lot more a lot more innocent than the box implies <laughs> um but the face up looks very similar to jenna ortega i mean it's really amazing how they were able to, to like translate that that way beautiful thatching her hair super thick again i think I, you know i i, I gotta play with her she's gonna be my one to play with i can just keep these ones on the shelf and they, they can look nice but this one i have to play with her her nails are painted black even this one is black again i'm gonna have to get a close-up later but yeah i love the all black hair here's the underside of the jacket piece it's really thin and this printed on only one side but she also has this really cool belt it has like crows and stuff on it it's like a little bit of a metallic kind of look and here's her skirt her skirt is i mean everything is like really soft to the touch especially this piece right here um she's not wearing anything under yeah but this is like a nice stretchy fabric here are her like socks or like stockings the same spider web design with the monster high logo <laughs> very cool and very stretchy and soft here are the back of her shoes oh it's a scorpion oh and a violin whoa i love that i love that so much well, a lot of people were complaining that um some of the designs with the heels seem like just tacked on and like they just stuck them there and i can kind of see what they mean by the violin it's, it does kind of look like it's just there but but this is brilliantly designed with the scorpion so yeah i'm going to change her into her second outfit Look how cute this is. So her that jacket is a separate piece, but these two are one piece, which I don't mind at all. Very cute. Love this outfit. Okay, so here is her other outfit. Oh, I forgot to put the jacket on. But here's here it is just with the dress. And I had a hard time like getting the shoes on. As you can see, they're not fully on. But if you really tried, I'm sure you could like slip them on. But it's a little bit of a difficult process. But um, yeah, I, I really like this dress. I like how it's like form fitting around her waist. Matter of fact, I want to see what it looks like with the belt. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know how, which outfit I'm gonna display her in. I like both equally. I feel so. Okay, so I am totally in love with the way this little jacket looks. Look at her; she's so cute. Oh, uh, she looks like a little schoolgirl, like in the fall or the winter, just like walking to school. I don't know. Again, I gotta watch the show because I think I would even appreciate this more. But look how cute the logos and stuff. And let me try to put the hoodie on. I mean, her hair is really thick, so let me. Oh, I love it! <laughs> with the little finger snapping moment. Oh, uh, I really like this outfit with the hoodie like this that elevates it so much and obviously you can like mix and match and stuff So that's really cool of them And I like how it's like oversized too because you can like use it with other dolls and mix and match with different outfits and stuff All right, and so <laughs> Here's the close-up by the way. It's nighttime because I want to get this video out on Wednesday Duh, but I was mentioning earlier. I was beginning to mention the fact that her eyes have like these spider web detailing detailing in them <laughs> and i thought that was really cool and i didn't mention earlier but her hair does have gel in it which is really interesting but i guess they really wanted to keep the curl i don't know but i am gonna wash her hair i'm gonna do like a video and everything i don't know i might restyle it we'll see but i i do love like the long black hair on doll so that's why i was really like i was particularly excited about her and here are her shoes up close okay and then that's her but we're gonna move on from her because i'm really excited about in it i don't know how to pronounce her name so please forgive me if i'm mistaking okay so now we have the beautiful in honestly i think i care more about her outfit and like the clothes and everything over her face like her face is all right it's really cute i don't know what the character looks like i don't think i've ever seen the actual like human character i wonder if she has like a side part let me see yes yeah, she has a side part 
High hair is really soft until it gets to the gel, which is interesting because Monster High normally doesn't use gel. So that's a little disappointing, but I know that, again, a lot of people aren't going to take these dolls out of the box. So that makes total sense. Now, what got me about Anid, again, I'm sorry if I'm mis <laughs> mispronouncing her name, but what really got me about her was these freaking acrylics. Like, her nails are actually, the nails on this hand in particular are so beautiful and long. I mean, it's so awesome. I didn't think that Monster High would make a character with nails like this. Like, how cool is that? They're super nicely painted. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a close up of that in a minute. But here's her bag. You can't open it. You can put things inside. I love that. This is almost like a G3 Monster High type of bag. Um, it's a really like basic plastic, but it has some a pink heart on it, which is really nice. So yeah, she has like a little, I don't know, what beret, beret, whatever this thing is called. It's really cute, I like it. It's not fabric though. That's a little unfortunate actually, but it holds its shape really well. And again, a lot of people aren't gonna be taking these out of the box. But yeah, here's her shirt, her little sweatshirt. I love it so much. Um, I think she's wearing, is she wearing something under this? I don't think she is. I'm gonna check and see. Kinda looks like she is. Oh no, no. No, no, no. It's just like a little uh, white collar. So that's pretty cool. Here's the bag and her little curls. I definitely got to wash all of this and stuff. She's the only Monster High doll that I have that has like this short hair length. Ooh, her hands are so amazing. I love her hand mold with the nails. Like Monster High, needs, they need to do that more. Um, by the way, my nails, I don't know if you, if you know what this is, I don't, I don't understand what's going on with my nails. I don't know if it's like a health condition going on but it's really dark at the tip and it could be because I've, I, I had them like really long for an extended period of time so maybe the nail bed is like I don't know but the actual nail is fine but the nail bed is discolored I don't know it's weird I really love this skirt it has like two little buttons on it and it's a nice thick material simple and cute I don't know how it compares to the real skirt <laughs> her pants are also really cool because look I think the, yeah these are definitely attached to the leggings it looks like um, leg warmers from the 80s her, her, her whole outfit kind of looks like a, a call to that in a way um, oh look that is so cute what is that a unicorn something weird what is that They're, they are kind of just like tacked on but i like it a lot i like the color contrast of everything that's pretty much all for her she's really simple but i think she's super brilliantly like designed and well i mean again i don't know how closely she resembles the actual character on the show but i love the doll itself and i can't wait to wash her hair okay the hand isn't going to stay on but let me go ahead and give you a close-up of the hand because it actually has some small little details on it as you can see, there's like a little bit of stitch work. Cool, and nothing on the top. And the nails are not painted. So here she is. Her nails are black as well. And she is sporting all black lipstick. Oh my gosh, it's really beautiful. I think she has the same face as this one. Um, let me see. She looks a little meaner, which is cool. She looks, this one looks sweeter. And she looks a little more like she's, you know, about to do whatever they do in the show. <laughs> but this one has little skeletons in the eye rather than the spider webs, you see? I think they have the same eyebrows, yeah. They have pretty much the same eyebrows. And this is the same bang. So I think I'm gonna leave these like this, but I'm definitely gonna try to watch her bangs and see how they turn out. But yeah, I really, really like this doll. I don't typically have I typically don't like dolls with uh short hairstyles, but I love the braid, the two braids across. It's all black, it's super sleek, it's beautifully styled, and everything is gelled in place. So that's, I guess that's good for her. <laughs> once again, collectors. She actually comes with earrings, which the other two do not. And it's just the Monster High logo on there. Again, I don't know what it looks like in the uh, show. She's actually more lightweight than these two, which is interesting, I wonder why. Oh, because she doesn't have as much hair. <laughs> and her shoes, I think, are, oh yeah, her shoes are way like, smaller than those ones so here's her dress her dress is so beautiful it's super shiny it's really thin but it's uh sheer that's what i meant to say it's really sheer look at my nail see that it's so weird look her belt she also has a belt and it's i don't know it's a w i guess it's a really simple but cute dress and there are like there are three layers as you can see Oh, she's wearing stockings too. Okay, so, and they are all on the G1 bodies. Like, and you guys know I'm a big fan of the G1 body types. 
um, well, not the body type, but just like the body in general, because I feel like it, I don't know, it just seems more cohesive and I like being able to switch the outfits and stuff like that, if I so desire. But here are her shoes. What is that? What is that? It looks like a, a, a human figure of some kind. Okay, and this is like, what, an iceberg or something? Like a crystal? And that's it. I mean, she's she's really simplistic. I don't know the prices of all these girls. I'm going to post the um, the numbers at some point in the video. Um, I got to do a little bit of research because they don't tell us in the emails. And they don't tell us <laughs> with the paper or on the paper that comes with the dolls. So. But yes, that, that is it for the review, guys. Um, this is a different type of video. But I'm definitely going to... I don't know if I'm going to do a full video for this girl. But I definitely want to do a um a restyle or like a hair washing video and like revamp her hairstyle to make it like you know not as gelled and more neat and stuff but hers is already super neat so i'm really thankful for that and a knit as well and knit she needs her hair you know touched up so i might just do those two in one video next time but we'll see guys uh, but that's it for now oh my gosh i'm so thankful for these dolls i mean i opened this up and i didn't expect three dolls like that is insane and like i always say it, it, it feels so special to think that i am good enough to receive such a gift and to just be a part of this release you know it's it's really amazing that i don't know it's just really cool that they see how much we love their dolls and you know really just dolls in general and, and to be able to share uh the love in this way is it's just it's it, it's crazy i mean i didn't expect this at any point in the future oh i forgot to pose her with her violin i mean the violin is like a whole another doll in and of itself so again thank you monster high and Mattel for this gift i mean this is super special i hope that a lot of people get to see her on social media or whatever hope that you know i can share them as much as they deserve to be shared because i think they're super cool i don't know why she, doesn't it look like she's like looking up like girl look this way everybody else is looking at the camera i might make a purchase tomorrow morning we'll see i might get like another one of her <laughs> we'll see what i'll do but yeah i'm just super thankful to have been chosen to showcase these dolls and to really be able to enjoy them especially before other people like that's you know it's it's crazy but yeah and i might actually check out this show because of these dolls so that would be a cool introduction like it'll be cool to look at these dolls and to have reviewed them and see all of the different elements and then piece everything together as I'm watching the show. That might be like a little fun little thing. But for right now, I just want to go ahead and put this review up for you guys. I hope that you like them and let me know if you're going to get them. Let me know if you are planning on getting specific ones. Let me know how you feel about them. Let me know how you feel about the price points and everything. Um, and let's talk in the comments. Let's let's discuss this. But yes, that's going to be it for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Monster High and Mattel, for supplying such a beautiful gift or set of gifts. <laughs> thank you so much. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.